leading cardiologist from India, shares his education and experience, his training from the UK, and he has also had papers published in almost all cardiac procedures. He currently focuses on aortic surgeries and major vascular surgeries. I did my basic uh, medical training from Lucknow, KG Medical College. It's one of the oldest medical schools in India, King George's Medical College. So I did my graduation, post-graduation, and then super specialization from there. Then moved to UK, and I was a consultant there in, uh, in King's College Hospital, which is again one of the oldest, one of the largest hospitals in the UK. Stayed there for about four years, but wanted to come back. I do all kinds of adult cardiac surgical procedures, which basically includes coronary artery uh, bypass grafting, valve repairs and replacements, combined procedures, combined valve repairs, replacements, along with coronary artery bypass grafting. So basically, all, uh, all kinds of adult cardiac surgery, but in addition to that, I do a lot of uh, what is known as aortic surgery and the vascular surgery. Aortic surgery is basically aortic, aortic repairs and replacement of the ascending aorta for very complicated pathologies like aortic dissections and, and uh, aortic embolisms. The aortic uh, surgery is considered one of the most challenging part of cardiac surgery and very few surgeons in fact in the country and outside do this kind of surgery and I developed interest in this particular surgery when I was in UK because we were getting a lot of these patients of aortic embolisms and dissections. So in addition to the normal adult cardiac surgery which I mentioned, I do uh, aortic surgery and in addi addition I also do major vascular surgery which is the, the auto bifemoral grafts, femoral grafts, various kinds of uh, peripheral bypass surgeries. The technology has always been uh, uh, as anywhere in the, in, in the world which obviously is, is upgraded as and when required whatever is available anywhere, we uh, try to acquire and, and use this technology. For example, we started, uh, uh, we started laser surgery, which was at one time called Trans Laser Myocardial Revascularization, or TMLR. Over a period of time, there was not much benefit uh, using this technology, so this was slowly, uh, slowly uh, stopped. We started what is known as minimally invasive cardiac surgery, including beating heart surgery. Beating heart surgery is a technique where we perform coronary artery bypass grafting without heart leg machine. The standard cardiac surgery is performed using heart leg machine. In beating heart surgery, we don't use heart leg machine. Uh, it is performed uh, without heart leg machine and the advantage is that all the unphysiological effects or all the side effects of heart leg machine, they are avoided. It basically means that the risk of surgery is less, the recovery is faster and it also it is uh, less costly in comparison to the standard surgery. So we are one of the pioneers in beating heart surgery. In fact, uh, uh, <coughs> one of the largest publication of, of beating heart surgery is from our institute. And that's my uh, publication. So we, we, we started laser surgery, we started uh, beat, uh, beating heart surgery, we started minimally invasive cardiac surgery. We also do what is known as port axis cardiac surgery. Port axis surgery is again one of the techniques of, of minimally invasive cardiac surgery. And in this technique, we can perform the valve repairs, valve replacements, closure of the holes by a small incision in the heart. Rather than making a full uh, incision in the front, a small incision is made of 3 to 4 inches on the side. And that's called port axis surgery. We also started uh, robotic heart surgery in the year 2002. And we used it for, for many years. Uh, we stopped it recently uh, and we are upgrading the technology and we plan to restart robotic uh, cardiac surgery uh, again. Basically, we get patients from the Asian, uh, Asian countries, which basically means that we get a large number of uh, patients from, from Bangladesh, uh, from Pakistan, from Iraq, uh, a lot of uh, patients from, from, from Middle East. I have operated a few patients from US as well. Medical Tourism Corporation facilitates affordable medical and dental treatment at world-class international hospitals and clinics. Fill out the estimate request form on our site, medicaltourismco.com, for a free quote and more information.